Honestly, fashion dates back so far to maybe even like 1000 BC or like 200 BC or whatever that time period was. I'm not too sure, but what I'm basically just trying to say is that fashion has been here long before I was born, maybe even around the same time my parents were born, and then maybe even before they were born. And with the fashion industry just being so sustainable and having such longevity throughout their career and their businesses, some trends have come and gone while some have obviously remained timeless. But in this video, we will be talking about and breaking down some trends that just don't hit the same anymore. Now, I also wanna add that I will be talking from a streetwear casual perspective, the perspective that I usually style my clothes in and the perspective that I've seen on social media most of the time. But before you get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, I do make casual streetwear and style related content. So stick around and hit the subscribe button and follow me on my social media platforms at Jaden X Monroe. But if you are a returning subscriber, just thank you so much for your support. Let, 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 let's just hop right into it. I'm gonna get some of the most common ones out the way first. We're gonna start off with the Air Jordan models. Now, I'm gonna go and talk about specific Air Jordan models. I'm gonna mainly talk about the Air Jordan 1s and the Air Jordan 4s, but this can obviously be just applied to an Air Jordan collection or brand as a whole. I can talk from experience because I was definitely a part of this trend. However, I always told myself, or I liked to think around the time and still even think, that I just put that shit on differently. I wore it totally different, but obviously I was wearing it the same as everyone else is wearing it. And I don't know, I'm actually gonna play devil's advocate because I feel like I was getting those kind of sneakers way before 2020. Like my dad used to buy me those sneakers in 2018, 2019. So I was way, 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 way ahead of the movement. But yeah, these got absolutely dragged through the dirt. And I honestly think because around the time of the pandemic, I'm pretty sure a lot of markets have crashed, meaning the sneaker market definitely crashed or some of the sneaker value definitely went down so it was so easy and accessible for people to get these sneakers and these models so everyone was just getting everything i was one of them i got two pair of air jordan ones and i got a couple air jordan fours around the same period in 2020 once i started seeing it get really popular and that like, the prices were really good but yeah you know i don't really partake in this trend anymore because i'm kind of like more into like um shoes boots and stuff like that now designer shoes and stuff like that so the second one i'm going to talk about yeezy culture now, I kind of saw easy culture happen right in front of my face because where I lived was Jersey City and the people that I was around, they were definitely heavily influenced by easy culture and just the easy movement and just the easy trend. And honestly, I kind of was jealous because at that time I wasn't like getting Yeezys. I wasn't into Yeezys. I didn't know anything about Yeezys. They were so expensive and I just didn't even know what Kanye was doing. Like I was just so oblivious to everything around that time period, which was like high school, middle school kind of. But yeah, this trend has been dead for some time and along with the Kanye controversy, it's not kind of coming back because Kanye doesn't even own the shoe anymore. Adidas still owns the rights to the shoe, so he can't even really produce more shoes or colorways or designs. So it's kind of just like a, well, what am I gonna do? So I think people are definitely holding on to their sneakers, but this trend just doesn't hit the same for me anymore. And I actually have three pairs of these that have the desert boots and I have the static uh, 700s, I think, and I think I have the geodes. Now I kind of still do wear my Yeezys because I did pay a lot of money for them, of course. And I kind of feel like I can separate the artists and their issues and everything that they do from like the stuff they produce or create. Meaning like that, I don't gotta fuck with Kanye, but I could, possibly maybe still wear his clothing or shoes and stuff yeah we're not gonna get into it the next trend are skinny jeans now i took part in skinny jeans very 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 early on because i was super skinny i'm still skinny now so just imagine me in high school i was way skinnier um and this was around the time i just started shopping around h&m and forever 21 and that's kind of all they had at the time at least that's all i saw because it was like because I knew what I wanted and because of my body type, I kind of just gravitated more towards those. So they probably definitely had a whole bunch of other options, but because I was so skinny and I wanted a pair of jeans that just fit good on me, I kind of, you know, went towards skinny jeans. But yeah, these shits just don't have the same for me anymore. If you guys know me in my recent style, I kind of just wear a lot of relaxed fit jeans. I don't really wear too many skinny jeans. I kind of wear oversized jeans, but I'm kind of not even in that oversized jeans era anymore as well. A lot of my jeans or a lot of my pants just have to fit relaxed and they just have to fit slim. They have to have a little bit of like weight and baggage to it, but not so much that it looks like I'm floating and they have to not be so skinny where it looks like I'm wearing tights. The next one that I wanna talk about are jogger pants. Now, I don't really remember wearing so many jogger pants. I'm pretty sure I had a pair of jogger pants, but I just can't remember any fits right now. But yeah, this was one of those trends that was like, everyone got into like, this paved the way for cargos and balloon pants. Like, jogger pants ran, 
so those two pieces of products could walk without jar repairs i literally don't know if those two you know those two would be here you know what i'm saying like like i said they're they're the epitome they're the statement they're the epitome they are the start of you know that entire type of pin but yeah you know even like their sub counterparts like cargos i love cargos to death now i'm not really in that cargo wave because like i just said i like a lot of relaxed fit pants but i do like balloon pants and it just kind of reminds me how like jogger pants they have that cuff at the bottom and a lot of cargos and balloon pants they don't necessarily have the cuff at the bottom but if you want to add the cuff at the bottom they do allow you to put or tie your strings at the bottom of your pants and make them like joggers so it's kind of like a three in one two in one kind of pant which is i think is super dope because the jogger pant it was literally just a scrunch you couldn't even unloosen it to be relaxed so the fact that cargos do that and balloon pants kind of do that it just keeps the legacy of jogger pants alive so maybe the trend do still hit the same the next trend that i want to talk about is vans culture i had every single pair of vans that you can possibly think of all the trendy vans i had i had the checkerboard slip-ons i had the old school classics in black and white i had the old school classics in navy blue and black i had the old school classics with the fire on the side i ran vans to the dirt and it was so bad to a point where like i would customize all of my vans for my birthday my mom would let me go on there and customize at least two pair of vans because they were such um a cool sneaker and they were a staple shoe and i think i might need to get a pair i think i might need to go back to a pair just for the nostalgia of it but they were at a good price they were 60 dollars. that to me is a excellent price for a pair of sneakers they were durable they were stable you can play basketball on them you can you know ride a skateboard on them you can pretty much do anything in them so they were such a good sneaker but the one reason why i don't think that this trend hits the same anymore is because a lot of people have obviously moved on from that period that vans was still relevant but a lot of other brands are making similar shoes that might look better or more appealing to the eye which kind of just leaves vans there but we obviously know that vans is a start vans is the, the 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 originator of all of this so yeah so the reason for it not really hitting the same is just because a lot of other brands are just making copies or just doing what they did just more appealing to people with different designs and colors and stuff if that makes sense the next trend that i do want to talk about are huge graphic tees on your shirts and your sweaters and even your pants I feel like this also was a huge trend on TikTok around 2020 because that's when I really started getting into graphic tees. I mean, I would have like, you know, your basic graphic tees, but me, I wanted my wardrobe to be graphic tees all the way down to like me getting 20 graphic tees at once on Fashion Over, just me shopping at Fast Fashion, of course. I needed to get the coolest graphic tee and I needed it to match my sneakers. You know, I was matching my graphic tees with my Jordans and you know, that was a fit for me. I was calling it a fit. And that's still a fit for some people, but I think people just don't, gravitate more towards graphic tees or those generic graphic tees anymore because there's a lot more clothes that are just coming out or a lot of brands that are just doing graphic tees a lot better or just making their graphics very minimal and just making minimal staple shirts to the point where like you don't need a graphic tee to make a statement all you have to do is get a white blank and then yeah you you've made your statement that that that's all i can see and as for hoodies me personally i don't like big graphics on my hoodies anymore i used to like that of course but not anymore I just like your regular stapled hoodies now the hoodies that i do like they just have to have a small detailing or like a different type of graphic and as i'm saying that i'm kind of just you know i feel like i'm contradicting myself because as i'm looking at the camera talking i'm forgetting that i'm wearing a huge hoodie with a graphic on it but this is the type of graphic that i need it's not like screen printed in or anything it's hand sewn and then it's frayed if you have the graphic sweater like this this to me is just so fire like you just have to have some type of detailing that just gravitates me towards it, not just a screen printed graphic on it. And as far as jeans, I left that in 2021 because I used to wear those to, I used to wear those down. I used to wear graphic pants and jeans down and it just was like for no reason. So yeah, I don't really like them anymore. The next trend that I do want to talk about are overly distressed jeans and biker jeans. Now these two definitely go hand in hand and I could have probably even talked about it with skinny jeans because around the same time I was purchasing skinny jeans, I was purchasing these two pairs of jeans as well. Biker jeans, I literally love the biker jeans. Like, like I love them down, bro. Like, like I had almost every colorway. I had every single pair. And if you guys don't know where biker jeans are, they're the ones that, you know, curve vertically into your inner thigh love those because they went with everything and they were that type of jean that it wasn't blank it wasn't plain it just added an extra layer and extra effect to your outfit and when i would wear them i really thought i was that nigga because i kind of made a shift in high school where i could not dress for my life to dressing you know decent and really good 
So when I was doing that, people were looking at me like, oh yeah, like he, he got it on. And that's when I really just started feeling a lot more confident in my style. But the overly distressed jeans, those don't hit the same anymore at all. They just they just don't hit the same anymore. Like I just feel like if you're wearing distressed items in 2022, it's just like, what are you doing? And as I've seen that again, my sweater is distressed, but it's a distressed in a certain way. It can be fringe or frayed. It just just rips on your legs. Come on, like nah, we we're not doing that in 2022, especially going to the 2023. So those two trends, or you know that jean skinny jean H and M jean trend, just does not hit the same anymore. Okay, my next one is fanny packs. Now, I know I might get some hate in the comments. I know y'all might want to, you know, argue and fight me on this one, but I'm going to say it, fanny packs. This just doesn't hit the same anymore because I just feel like how far fashion has developed, I just feel like that they've made other um, versions or just better bags that you don't necessarily need that fanny pack. You can get an over-the-shoulder bag. You can get a side bag. You can get a tote bag. You can get one of those little cloth bags. I just feel like fanny packs are just no longer, you know, relevant anymore and of course people still wear fanny packs but like i said like the three bags or four bags that i just mentioned you will see a lot more people wear those four bags out of fanny packs in 2022 so that's exactly why i'm putting on a list of trends that just don't hit the same anymore it's very similar to van sneakers it's very similar to jogger pants it was the start of a revolution it was the start of an evolution it was the start of basically you seeing a staple piece or a staple product and you just making different versions of it that kind of just relates back to fanny packs. So yeah, uh, it's an originator, but to me, it just doesn't hit the same manner. You will never catch me in 2022 or just the, or, you know, later years wearing a motherfucking fanny pack. I'm just sorry. All right, moving on to the last two trends, bucket hats. Now I know I might get some backlash on this as well, but I've never liked bucket hats, honestly, if we're being honest. I don't even like fitted caps. That's why I wear it backwards because I feel like backwards, it looks really good. So to me, fitted caps are just, but bucket hats, like, I guess I see why people wear bucket hats, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a cool style, it's very different, and it fits for certain people. Now, when everyone starts to wear it and just thinks that, you know, it fits them and it fits their style, no. But when certain people wear it and they know that it fits them, they rock it really well, yes. But for me, bucket hats have never hit for me. Bucket hats will never hit for me. And yeah, yeah. Now, the last one are bomber jackets. Now, I kind of was skeptical about putting this on here and I didn't want to put this on here, but bomber jackets, not that they don't hit the same anymore, but they're just not seen as much as a lot of other jackets are seen. You have your workwear jackets, you have your trucker jackets, you have blazers now, you have your coach jackets, you have your varsity jackets. Bomber jackets have just taken a back seat. And this is very similar to a lot of the other trends that are in this video. They are the originator, that meaning that like, when people were wearing this specific staple piece, it just paved the way for you to wear other staple pieces that are now here or just trends that are now here. So because of that, I just don't see, you know, bomber jackets as much and I don't see them hitting the same anymore because like I just mentioned, you have a whole bunch of other different variations of other jackets that you could possibly wear. And with that being said, that is my list of trends that just don't hit the same anymore for me. Please let me know in the comments what trends don't hit the same for you guys anymore. I'm very curious to hear. And let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong on any single trend. Because I think that I am, of course. But obviously, this is my own opinion. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell. Because I am dropping a lot of consistent videos for the rest of 2022 going into 2023. So peace.
Houston, we're in Houston celebrating. We're going to Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. Y'all know what the Vegas?